hey, fancy meeting you here. Danny from Surfer, and I'm so glad you came back. Thank you for joining me. So in the last lesson, I introduced you to our content editor tool, and we also talked a bit about keyword research. I don't want to bring back any memories from childhood of having to write outlines before doing a book report, but outlines are really important for organizing your writing. Why do you even need to create an outline? Is it really worth it? Creating an outline can help you gain control over the scope of the article, plan out the headings and subheadings that you want to include, answer all the real community asked questions, and it can help you determine your chances of covering all the necessary topics and keywords. Most skilled writers rely on outlines to keep their writing targeted and focused. They organize multiple ideas, and it's a great way to share with your team members or your clients so that they get the main idea without you having to present an entire finished draft. Basically, outlines help you cut the clutter, and when you use Surfer's Outline Builder, they also serve a second purpose of SEO optimization. So there are two versions of Surfer's Outline Generator. With the free version, you can simply type in some information about the topic of your outline, and then you'll receive suggested headers and one AI-generated paragraph that you can include in your post. But for Surfer customers, you'll receive not one, but as many paragraphs as your heart desires. Let me show you how it works in an example. First, I choose my location, and then I type in my keyword. Let's try to create an outline for the keyword, no follow links. I can see a variety of H1 examples. I can also see an H2 that says, what are the benefits of no follow links? Or do no follow links help with SEO? Since these are all topics that I think my audience will be interested in, I'll keep them. So in the free version, there's a paragraph that has been generated for me that I can use in my text. It's also been checked for plagiarism. Do you see these purple boxes on the left? I can click or unclick the ones I'd like to include, which is a really nice feature. Simply click where it says copy selected to make sure that you get exactly what you want in your final outline. Lastly, in order to make it easy to share, you can simply copy and paste the link. Working in Asana? No problem. How about Notion? No worries. The link makes it really easy to communicate and share your progress with your team. I mentioned that there are two different versions of Surfer's Outline Generator. There's a free version and a paid version. Here are the main differences. In the free version, you can create a basic outline with headlines and suggestions. You can generate one unique paragraph for the first headline. But with the paid version, on the other hand, you get ideas for your title or your H1. You get a full outline with H2s, 3s, etc. and unique paragraphs for each one. You also get access to a topics and questions to answer section with unique answers, and it's easily customizable directly inside of Surfer's content editor, Google Docs, WordPress, Webflow, or even Jarvis. I was able to generate dozens of headings in a matter of seconds, and I don't even have to guess if they're relevant or not because the algorithm did the hard work for me. Okay, so that's that. There is one more aspect I'd like to cover in this discovery phase, but it's a doozy. So I want you guys to go take a drink of water, <laughs> take a walk outside if you can, and I'll meet you in the next lesson. Until then, happy surfing, and I'll see you there.